Okay, hello Cloud Gurus and welcome to this lecture. This lecture is on geoproximity routing and this is available in traffic flow only mode and we'll see what that means in a few seconds. So geoproximity routing lets Amazon's Route 53 route traffic to your resources based on the geographical location of your users as well as your resources. And you can also optionally choose to route more traffic or less to a given resource by specifying a value known as a buy bias and a bias expands or shrinks the size of a geographic region for which a traffic is routed to a resource and to use geoproximity routing you must use route 53 traffic flow so let's go over and have a quick look at this in action okay so here I am in route 53 I'm just going to go through and delete the record sets from the last lecture and so there we go. Now you'll see over here it says traffic flow and in here you have traffic policies and then you have policy records. So let's go over to traffic flow and what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and create a traffic policy. I'm going to give this a name, call it Hello Cloud Gurus. So Hello Cloud Gurus and you can give it a version description in there if you want. I'm not going to. And next we go ahead and we start configuring this. And this is where it gets really, really complicated. So we've got all our different DNS types. We're gonna go ahead and add an IPv4. And we're gonna say, hey, when we connect in using IPv4, let's connect to, and then we can do things like a geo proximity rule. And in here, this is where we can enter in our location. So we enter in latitude or longitude. We enter in our bias in here. We can associate it with a health check and that's defined our first region then we have uh, our second region and then we can say hey I want it to connect to and then you can go in and add endpoints um, or all, all kinds of different rules and this is what I mean by going down the DNS rabbit hole you can create extremely complicated traffic policies for your environment it goes completely beyond the scope of the certified solutions architect associate exam it's not even tested in the certified solutions architect professional exam this is where you're designing your this is what your network engineers essentially would do. They would be going in and creating these massive sort of traffic policies. So in terms of my exam tips, just remember what it is at a very high level, it allows you to route traffic to your resources based on the geographical location of your users as well as your resources. And you can influence this using biases. Um, but in order to use this, you must use route 53 traffic flow. So that is it for this lecture, everyone. In the next lecture, we have the very last routing policy, which is multi-value answers. And then we'll go ahead and summarize, and then we're ready to move on to VPCs, which becomes a lot more interesting than Route 53. Uh, but you need to understand Route 53 before you move on to VPCs, because you need to know how to route DNS traffic to your VPCs. So if you've got the time, please join me in the next lecture. Thank you.